This video will look at the uh, German V1 launch site at Crosset in France. This photograph is of uh, a factory in Germany, in Nordhausen, but uh, just note the design, how you've got the rockets lined one after the other and on the right hand side a special uh, device which I assume helps in the construction. Fine Crosset itself, um, it's a few miles south of Syracourt uh, which was a major V1 uh, facility. The only things visible today have been marked in red on this diagram. The top small marker is the assembly building. The longer marker to the left is possibly the ski building, but it's been cut in half. And the triangle just shows some ancillary buildings which are seen at the end of the video clip. Unfortunately, yeah. Apart from me, this was used to make the one um, doodle bug flying bombs, or at least to put them together. I don't know what else to say about it. Just some observations. The width of the doorway looks about ten foot. And there's brackets. on both sides but they're different types and this side is slightly higher and the brackets on this side so they're different there's nothing much to see in the side rooms it's also got two beams at a strange angle. They both go up from left to right and they're not straight across the room either, they're at an angle. I don't know the significance of those but Maybe they fitted on this side. They look about the same width from the other. Well, that's obviously another thing to note is that there's a solid concrete floor from the left, which stops about a metre from the wall. Some kind of drainage, maybe oil or something. Don't know. Okay, there are some very rusted looking chains that look like they've been here since uh, it was made. And they run down, or well, the brackets anyway, they run down the length of one side. Again, no idea. Maybe they were to hold the rocket in place when it was being put together not tether it because there's a chain that comes away or there similarly here there's a loose chain along here actually there's a whole load of loose chain, chain here the walls are uh, incredibly thick certainly thicker than they need to be just to be a basic shed, that's about the thickness all the way around. Clearly to protect it. The roof yet yeah, similar. Although the roof is uh, solid solid concrete whereas the walls are blocks. You can see still see the shuttering marks. The two doors inside lead into small rooms that go into the main uh, long room. Um, but this one is slightly peculiar. It's not strictly speaking a door from here, it's been blocked. But there's inside a smooth bath like contraption's full of uh, dead branches now, but it's like a big bath. It's 
see how it's smooth. In terms of its other features. I'm not sure what that is. Something with a chain attached. Hole in the roof. It's a deliberate hole, it hasn't been made later. Actually no, it actually looks like it's been that again looks like it's been cut and then made so after the concrete roof was poured this was done separately there's a, a hatchway sort of thing into the other room but there are various openings at strange heights this is about thigh height It's only a few inches, a few inches wide, eight inches wide. This one is more like a foot square, and it's a little bit higher, but still effectively knee to hip height. There's another small one. Can't see what where that goes to. And then there's one at just above my head height, which is just six foot six and a half foot high and another one that starts and goes even higher goes up to about seven foot okay that's the first um, building now this one is different this is just a long tube sort of thing it's got uh, two concrete walls leading into it it looks about 20 metres long. It's currently full of um, uh, wood and various gardening things by the look of it. So it's obviously owned by somebody, or at least somebody's using it. Um, but the doorway, again, is significant. It's the same size by the look of it. So it's about 10 foot across. So it looks like it's doorless down the side. It does look like this is some sort of entrance. Okay, this is the far side of the long tunnel object which has been uh, bricked over and turned into a multitude of uses including looks like a dog kennel, bike store, external furniture store. Just a final couple of observations. So the main block is in the centre of frame. The long tunnel sort of construction is there. Now the whole area, although it's currently got green field on, I think the underlying is concrete because there's concrete every, every now and again there's just a patch of concrete. So my guess is that this whole site was um, open as it is today but concrete. Second point, there's another block or something here. Walls have been knocked down by the look of it. It's quite small. But, um, something of significance was here. Okay, that was going to be the final comment, but just walking around this pile of what looks like nothing. There's a couple of uh, entrances of some description. There's one here. So this is the step down. And just see, there's a concrete roof there. And there's something down there. Similarly, I don't want to venture closer because it's a bit dangerous. There's something there. So it looks like it's an underground bunker. And the entrance is somewhere around here.